avoiding marital trap. My name is Olusha Gumokolu. I'm afraid that a lot of young Christian, single Christians, may not watch this video. But I sincerely desire and I pray that many will watch this video. If you are watching this video, God bless you. You have obtained mercy. Please pay attention to what I'm about to share with you. And I desire and I pray you that after watching this video, you will share it with as many young Christians that you can share it with. You see, there is a plan in the kingdom of darkness for every child of God, everybody, to ensure that those of us who want to get married will marry wrongly. It is a carefully orchestrated, planned, um, and being executed by the forces of darkness. This is not somebody trying to just paint a picture of something that is not. The devil wants you to marry wrong. There is that trap. And I will tell you why. The devil is after your Christian life. Once you identify with Jesus, you are a threat to the kingdom of darkness. And the devil knows that whatsoever two of you shall agree concerning shall be done. So your prayer is dangerous, terrifying when you have somebody who is one with you. The devil cannot tolerate the Christian marriage. He will fight it. And the first way he fights it is to lead you or mislead you into a wrong marriage. There is somebody you should not marry that will come your way. Every one of us will experience it. I experienced mine. There's always a trap that is set for you. If you fall into it, you are done for it. The devil knows that it's easier to frustrate people's Christian life in a wrong marriage. You see, marriage is a covenant. It's not something you jump in and you jump out. In fact, he wants you to jump out once you are married because that puts you perpetually in wrong. He even wants you to go and remarry. In fact, if you remarry, he will leave you. Because he knows the word of God says that he who divorce and, and marry another person commits adultery. So he prefers it that way. So you must know what you are doing. You must understand this and lay hold of the provision God has made for you not to miss it in marriage. I wish I find better words to express what I'm saying to you. I've seen many, many, many in their thousands enter into terrible marriage. Christians, in fact, they have no time for any Christian life. What they are battling with is, is marital problem. And I see many young people in millions waiting to fall into it. And that's why this message is heavy on my heart. The devil will keep you from this kind of message. Oh, I've seen so many young people who could have avoided terrible marriage. The devil kept them away. Some of them had something on their phone they could just watch. And they would not have made wrong decisions. They didn't watch it. Some of them had books that they could just read. They didn't read it. The devil doesn't want you to go that way. He wants you to miss it. Let me tell you something. The devil operates by the scripture. <laughs> you see, what the devil is doing, he looks at the Bible and he uses it for his own advantage. If God says, don't eat this fruit, if you eat it, you will die. See, the devil is not coming to kill you. The devil is coming to deceive you to eat this fruit. When you eat it, God, God himself will finish the job. So the devil knows those you should not marry and the consequence. 
So all he, do, all he needs to do is to trick you, deceive you, to marry them. But you see, God has gone ahead of him to make provision to keep you from marrying right. That's why this message is coming to you. If you are watching this message, believe me, give thanks to God. God is merciful to you. If you want to marry and you are watching this. Now, if you read Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 26, look at what it says. I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snare. What's a snare? A trap. A net. And her hands as bands, bondage. Whoso pleased God shall escape. Escape means you will come across her, but you will escape her. But the sinner shall be taken by her. If you are living in sin as a child of God, you have already destroyed yourself. You will land in a wrong marriage. It is the word of God. The only person that will escape her is whosoever pleases God. It means that unless you are living a life that is pleasing to God, you will fall for a wrong marriage. Though he's talking about a woman here, I'm just using it to illustrate a bad marriage. Because if you read Proverbs 22, 24, it says, Make no friendship with an angry man, and with a furious man thou shalt not go. God recognizes there are people you should not marry. The list is endless, but we've made videos on those you should not marry, brothers you should not marry, women you should not marry. We have made videos on that. But this is just to show you that the scripture recognizes that there is a bad marriage. There are people you will go to you will struggle for the rest of your life. Don't say where well, God is merciful. Why will you violate the word of God in the first place? Why will you enter into a wrong thing? If God is saying, I find more bitter than death. Can you imagine? How can something be more bitter than death? When you meet men who have married this kind of women, they wish they could commit suicide. Their life, literally, why they are living, is destroyed. When you meet women who have married these wrong men, oh God, they have no life. I pray you will not enter into a wrong marriage. You will not experience marital problem. It's a terrible state. You are living with it every day. There's nothing more frustrating than that. I've seen men that never believed they could beat their wife. Pastors, they end up beating their wives. I've seen women who never for once dreamed that they could cheat. They could commit adultery, that they can't believe that another man could even see their nakedness. Not only one, not only two. Many men have seen more than their nakedness. They've even looked inside. Some have become pregnant. Some women never dreamed they could go and consult oracle, consult um, an, a, a, an evil person, an ifa person, uh, or herbalist, or whatever they call them. But they have gone to consult which of Endo. Just like Saul. Some have gone because of marriage. Many have been duped even by false prophet because they enter into wrong marriage. Oh, may you not enter into wrong marriage. It is a satanic trap. It's deliberate. It's deliberate. You will meet wrong people. So what that means is that you must learn how to identify a right person to marry. God had already given us clue in this verse. He says, whoso pleases God. If you are living in unrighteousness, you are not planning to marry right. You cannot live in sin and get away with it. You cannot live in sin and marry right. You will fall for a right person, a wrong person rather. If you read Psalm 32 verse 8, it now shows us what should be done to avoid it. He says, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way thou shalt go. I will guide thee with my eyes. In the book of Proverbs, it says, so that he shall keep you. 
He said, keep my commandment, lay hold of it, that it might keep you from this strange woman. Only the word of God can help you to marry right. Without the word of God, you can never marry right. It is impossible. So what do you need? He said, I will instruct you. That means you need to make yourself available for instruction. You need to make yourself available for teaching. You need to make yourself available for the guidance that God will give to you. That comes from his word. You must give attention to the word of God. What we have done is to put together a free marriage course uh, that will help you to understand how to marry right. It's completely free and I want to plead with you to take it. All you need to do is simply to write to us. The email is BibleLoveHelper at gmail.com. Check the description of this video. You will find the email address below in the description box. Just write that you are single, you want to enroll for the free marriage course. We also have a playlist on this YouTube channel for singles. When you go to the playlist and click on singles, we have hundreds of videos that will help you to learn. Aside from that, you can also get good books, watch messages of other preachers who have taught about this. Make yourself available to learn and let the word of God guide you to marry right. Outside the word of God, you can't marry right. You have been warned. I'm your brother in Christ. My name is Olusha Gumokolu. Please feel free to use the contact below to reach me for any question. God bless you.